Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Today we're at the World of Wheels in Rosemont, Illinois. Check out the text and you can see exactly where we're at. And I'm with Paul. Paul, what's your last name? Fionda. And Paul, what year make and model is this one? 1962 Volkswagen Beetle. And it has a special little trailer. What is that? 1958 Allstate single wheel trailer. Allstate single wheel trailer. Let's take no more time and get right to our featured attraction. So this California bug is truly a California bug. Tell me what the background is of this. First of all, how long have you had? I've had it four years. Four years. Why the Beetle versus... Because it's an iconic car and I had one that's one of my very first vehicles. There you go. And you had to get one back. What was your first year that you had yours? I was a 1971 Super Beetle and I had that in 1985. So what made you go old school and get one of these? Just an iconic car, the yeah. love for uh, German engineering, and uh, as you can tell, the, the look that this car has now, uh, California Bug, imported in 1961 into California. Imported into California. You truly made it a California Bug with that roof rack, along with your surfboards, surfboard. That's pretty cool. I like the louvers in the back. The so louvers are actually functional. The louvers prevented sun from bleaching out the back of the seat in the luggage area. That's great. When you were a little kid, I'm just curious, did you ever sit in the back back then? No, but I've heard that story a bunch I, of times. I had sat in the back. And then I noticed your trim. How did you get trim the same color? Today, that trim can be ordered in that color. That is super nice. you got the very small hook nose, as they call it, there on the... Uh, the beetle there, the taillights. Now tell me about this, not the luggage so much, but what we're featuring right now. What is this? This is a single wheel trailer that Allstate made. They had a, several variations. They had a steel box, they had this steel box, they also had a wood box trailer, and it's a single wheel. So the pivot point is not between the car and the trailer, it's actually a pivot in the suspension and wheel assembly at the bottom. So when you back up, it spins 360 degrees. When you turn, the trailer actually turns with the car and the wheel actually pivots. Wow. So it's almost an extension of your vehicle. Absolutely. And we'll show how that connects. What made you, did you find this first? Did you know about this? How did you, and obviously you painted it matching to the car. Um, I had been looking for a while for a trailer and these are kind of hard to come by. Uh, the box trailers, the wooden box trailers, are a little more common. Yeah. Um, I did have a frame assembly for a box trailer, and then this came across my radar. I decided to buy this and color match it to the car. This is a great addition to this vehicle. I mean, do people t comment about this all the time? Because, you, you know, I mean, I think your car is spectacular, but that really adds a nice touch. I haven't had a lot of feedback on the trailer because this is its first showing. Yay. I just so finished the trailer. We are showing it first time on My Car Story with Lou. Super, Nobody except for Brett over here. Super cool. All right. Let's, can we pop the, uh, the engine bay here? There we go. And you know, I love, go ahead. This is still a uh, six volt with a generator. This has not been converted to 12 volt. Wow. How, how did your engine get this clean? I mean, a lot of work. A lot of work. You have clearly done a tremendous job. That's amazing. While we're back here, uh, before we get to the interior or uh, the front, so to speak, can we fire it? Absolutely. All right. setting that down because we don't want any exhaust to come on the carpet here and mess up the carpet. I didn't want to mess up your carpet, but that is really well done. Such an iconic sound, right, to the folks like May I? Absolutely. Thank you. So let's take a look at our interior. Now, it did not come this clean. No, this has been redone. I have the original style of German square weave carpet. 
with the rubber floor mats and uh, actual rubber floors and the copa mats. Now the the color of the uh, the color of the wheel looks correct. Is that right? That is correct. But the the rest of the body work here is all custom. The interior, underneath the hood and the trunk are all original paint. Really? Yes. Dashboard, it's all original paint. What a great little beetle. What a great little beetle. You got that there. <laughs> Mobile. Now tell me what you have there. What is that? This, that? some have called a swamp cooler. This was an air conditioning system that was common in the 50s on cars before air conditioning became real common. You would open this up. There's a wicking agent in there, material. Yeah. You'd wet that. And then as you drove, there's a ratcheting system on a cylinder that you could rotate to get the whole thing wet. And as you drove, a tunnel effect with uh, air driving down the road would then come out of the vents on this side and give through evaporation would provide some cooling. Now in Chicagoland, swamp area, not so great, but in arid climates like Colorado or Las Vegas perhaps, you can, you'd feel a few degrees temperature change. So now this option, if, is that something that the dealer would have or is this something? It was aftermarket after accessory. Aftermarket accessory. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, I don't think I've ever seen one of those. I see it's got the sea breeze. I'll take a moment there. It's pretty cool. What a great little toy that is. Okay, let's uh, open up the front, shall we? The front trunk. Everything very nicely done there. Where we put our gas in. Now well, in German engineering, yeah. one of the things that they built this car for was simplicity. One of the things they did was, this was the windshield washer fluid tank. Okay. Instead of filling this with air only, you could actually run, in 62 they came out with a regulator, which is this piece here, that would run off of the spare tire, and that way you would have, because there's no pump for your windshield washer fluid, there's no electrical pump, it's all pneumatic. So you could draw the tire down to 17 PSI, this regulator would stop drawing air, so that way you'd never have a flat spare, but they would use the air in the tire to push the fluid up to the windshield. I did not know that. Yes, one of the unique little things about Volkswagen. Wow, that is super cool. And super unique. That's amazing. Well, let's close that up for a moment. I think we should actually. Does the horn beep uh, without the power, or do no, we have it to has turn to be it on? running? Well, let's turn it on. Let's give it one beep. We don't have to turn it on, but we can give it one beep because we'll, you have got to hear that horn too, right? Correct. Great sound, an amazing trailer. The level of detail you've put in this thing is truly spectacular. Appreciate oh, that. Well done. Thanks for being on my car story. Absolutely. Thank you.